Hello everybody, my name is Momo, this is my channel Fancy Momo, welcome back to my channel. Today, in this video, I will be reacting to the new TK Maidza EP, last year was weird, volume 3. Very appropriate, since last year was pretty weird. One of the good things about last year though, was that we were able to get last year was weird, volume 2. Look at that, look how pretty that looks on my wall, and it ended up being one of the best EPs of last year and TK Maisa just blew up as she deserves because she is very talented. I am a big fan. I am going to her concert this September so that'll be exciting. It's going to be my first concert too so yeah I I'm hyped for that and I'm also hyped for this EP. With the three singles she has dropped they all were bangers. She went three for three. No misses. Kim was a banger. Syrup was a banger. Cashmere was not a banger, but it was a smooth, silky, beautiful track that is probably my favorite out of those three. So with those three tracks in mind, I am assuming this EP will also be as diverse as the last EP, but there's only one way to find out, and that is by listening to this new TK Maisa EP. So let's do that. TK Maisa, last year was weird, volume three. Let's go. First track is called Eden. Ooh. Oh, I'm loving this so far. And nothing has really happened yet. <laughs> She sounds like Tierra Whack right now, and I love it. I love the strings playing. I love, I don't know what it is. I think it's a sample. It could just be an unlisted feature. Who knows? It gave a very cinematic feel to this project and it gave a very good intro to the project. I feel like I'm transporting into the world of TK Maisa, the flower dome. I, I don't know what it's called, the flower dimension, the flower land. I'm going there. I'm going where all the pretty flowers are. That is where I'm at right now. I think that track did a brilliant job transporting me there. I am hooked. I'm excited. Let's move on to the next track, which is called Onto Me with Umi. <laughs> on that song the course is perfection what a great course it's very catchy it's currently in my head right now love that umi is great i've never heard of umi before this but i'll definitely check her out yeah loving it loving it next track we've got so cold <laughs> Cold. Not too far, so I said 
happened. I just started dancing, what? <laughs> I seriously don't know what happened. I just got so into the vibe that brain empty. <laughs> That's a great dance cut, like one of her best, definitely. I love that song a lot. It's so smooth and the instrumental is so rich. Got me off my seat, on my toes. I started dancing. I started to boogie a little. This is my shock to you guys, but I don't like dancing. Dancing is not my thing. I'm too big to be dancing. I get sweaty easily. As you can tell, gross. But TK made me dance. TK made me get out of my seat and do a little boogie. Just a little one. Just a little boogie, a little little boogie. All right, next track is one of her singles. It's called Syrup. It's a banger. Let's just headbang to the song the whole time. Why not? Sick. Sick, sick with the glow up, trying to be, I'ma be lyrically fit with the blow up, double back flip with the co op. I go hard on the bone up. Next track is her other single called Kim featuring Young Baby Tate. I know a couple haters want me dead. You know what's funny? I didn't like that song when it came out. I thought it was okay, but now I love it. It grew on me a lot. A young baby take kills it. I love her Shigo line. Kim Possible oh, is such a good cartoon. I, I love that growing up. So. <laughs> but yeah, total banger. Love it. Next track is called High Beams. Ooh, what's going on here? does not miss she does not miss she's got aimbot right now that's how accurate she is because there's been no misses we're already almost done with it two more tracks that went by so quick now i wish this was an album like i want more <laughs> but yeah let's let's listen to catch me even though i've listened to it on the channel already but let's give it a listen just to see how it fits in the album We're 
already at the last track, unfortunately. I wish there was more. This this has been a fun album to listen, or an EP to listen to, but good things come to an end. So let's listen to this ending together. It is called Breathe. Let's go. right now with TK Maitza. She really ended the EP with one of the best songs of the year and made me want more, but she's not giving me more. I want more music, Maitza. I want more music. Like eight tracks is not enough. This EP is not enough. I know you have three of these, uh, it's a series and everything. I can listen to those, but I want more. I want more. You can't just do me like that. I want more music. You just gave me new music, but I want more music. This is incredible. Might be my favorite EP of the year, which is saying something because there's been a lot of great EPs with Chica, Karakura uh, Bonito, Benny the Butcher. They all dropped great EPs, but this might top it because this EP might be better than last year was with Volume 2. That's how good it is. Other than Kim and Syrup, the EP sounds more cohesive. I do feel like I'm in that flowery world most of the time, which is one of my complaints about the last EP. The last EP had no misses, but it felt like a good playlist instead of a good EP. This feels like a good EP with amazing, beautiful songs, beautiful courses, beautiful singing, beautiful production. The production, the production on this thing is so pretty. I love it a lot. It just transcends you out of this world into the flowery world and it makes you want to stay. I just want to be there right now. I don't want to be here anymore. You know the EP is amazing when my biggest complaint about it is that I want more. I want more than an EP. I need an album at this point. I need a fat album with this kind of music. Like I feel like a spoiled rich kid right now like i just want more please give me more but yeah i don't know what to say this is diverse yet more cohesive than the last project there's still the bangers there's still the cute ballads there's still the dance cuts but it i feel like it meshes a bit more maybe not so syrup and kim but the other tracks feel like they belong in the flowery realm but yeah i'm done here so thank you guys for watching if you like the video like the video makes sense right comment down below what is your favorite song off of the ep mine is the whole thing if you like music related content like this please subscribe since that is what i do here and yeah i'm done here so thank you guys for watching i love you guys good bye